Hello everybody, this is Kenneth Marks of The Ancestor Hunt. Today we're going to the Caribbean. For newspapers, that is, free research of the Digital Library of the Caribbean and their digital newspapers collection. So let's take a look at how we navigate this free site. Here is the URL, dloc.com slash cndl, the Caribbean Newspaper Digital Library. If we go to Partners, you get an idea of the different islands and countries that are available in this collection. As you can see, we have Haiti, Aruba, Jamaica, Puerto Rico, Virgin Islands, Netherlands, Antilles, etc. And so many of their newspapers are available in this collection. So let's go back our home page and here are the selections advanced search text search all items and new items you can search the collection from the home page but that does not search within the text of the newspaper so you want to go to text search this is the most important thing you need to remember so let's click on the text search tab and here is where we enter our search terms as you can see here you have the ability to do boolean searching and or also not phrase searching by including the search term in quotes capitals do not matter and you can include diacritics so let's type in a search term for a surname there we go and we hit go I do have a couple of ancestors who were actually born in the Caribbean as well as some ancestors who lived in the Caribbean for much of their lives so these are the results from our search term and as you can see there are 176 total hits we have the ability to look at what's called brief view which is a thumbnail plus a short description you can look at a table view which gives you just a list or a thumbnail view which is just the thumbnails I prefer the brief view myself you can sort the results by rank by title or date in either ascending or descending order and here are the results. So let's go down to this one from 1916 and bring up the page. And there we go. Pretty fast, isn't it? And here is the page. We can zoom by just clicking on the plus or minus here up at the top. We can go to a different page. There are only two pages in this particular newspaper. And we can also move around by hitting this little arrow here as you can see and this page is pretty full in terms of taking up the majority of the page I want this article right here because here is Pyfrom it is not highlighted as many of the sites are so let's move that around a bit and let's move it up whoops went the wrong direction let's go this way and let's also show you over here is the thumbnail and if you center the search results which is the image itself on the article it will center it in the middle of the page and this is the article I want as you can see it is about the marriage of Alice Louise Pyfrom so if I wanted to save that article I could go to my snipping tool and I would just draw a box around the article and then I would go and save it on my computer. Obviously I would change the file name to be representative of the article itself. I won't save it right now, but that is how you actually save the article. There is another way to do that, and that is to go to Downloads, and you can download a PDF of the entire page. Now I've not just discovered exactly how this works, and you would think that this one would be page one and this one would be page two, but if we click on this one, it brings up page one. So you're gonna to have to work with that a bit to get used to it. And you can zoom PDF and scroll. And if you chose to, you could indeed snip the article from the PDF. And then again, if you wanted to save the entire page, you could right click and do a save as like so. So let's go back and let's
let's go back to our image. If you wanted the description of the newspaper for your citation, you just click on description and then standard view, and that gives you the details. It's the Nassau Tribune from April 24th, 1916. We know it's page one, and the source institution is the University of Florida. So let's go back. And that is pretty much all there is to it. It's quite easy to use. A little difficult to manipulate. I always get the, these little arrows backwards going left and right. But with a little bit of experience, you can get used to it yourself. Let's go back to our search results. As you can see, we have to hit the back button. There is no option here that it takes us directly back to our search results. And so you just have to hit the back button to get there. And those are our initial search results. You then could do a, another search if you chose by going back to the search page. And again, just to refresh, you must use the text search tab. If you go to the home page and use the search term here, you will be searching the entire digital library, which you may choose to do but it will not be limited to newspapers. For, so for newspapers, you just want to use text search. And that, my friends, is pretty much all there is to the Caribbean Digital Newspapers site and how you go through it to find your articles about your ancestors. As I said, I've got a couple of ancestors myself that were bo either born in the Caribbean or indeed lived in the Caribbean, so I have used this to find articles about them. I hope that you have the opportunity to use this site and hopefully find articles about your own ancestors. So good luck and happy hunting.